Cairo is looking and sounding like a splintered city today as people survey the damage and chaos around them and wonder what will happen next. Friday saw the city's worst street battles in three years with a toxic mixture of soldiers, Muslim Brotherhood supporters and vigilantes surging back and forth. I can't get out of my house because I'm afraid. Everyone says don't go out on the streets. They're arresting people with beards. I cannot believe what the army is doing. I did my military service and I know the army well. I never imagined that one day we'd have a confrontation with the army. Neither Islam nor any other religion allows the destruction of a country for the sake of a presidency. What's going on in Cairo is not normal, and this is the first time we see such things. Even on the 30th of July, this didn't happen. On the contrary, people were throwing flowers at the soldiers. We should respect any protester, and we shouldn't shoot them. Friend and foe are becoming hard to distinguish as residents take up arms against one another, the police, the Brotherhood or the army, and the problem spreading far beyond Cairo 